you got me wrapped up around your finger. And Ollie Murs is right here, and I'm just going to set your headphone level. Is that I'm ready. Loud? It's it's perfect. Is it really? Yeah, okay, it's, good. it's well, brilliant. Well, he's a Thank pro. You. I mean, in addition to, of course, having a huge, huge hit with this. Troublemaker. There you go. He's singing along with himself. Yeah, God. <laughs> Isn't that great? I, I sound so much better on the record. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We've been listening to you sing. Do you remember the first time you heard that on the radio? Troublemaker. Actually, if I'm honest with you, yes, I was in New York um, when I heard it, obviously, in America, not here in, in Canada. But, what, yeah, I remember hearing it on the radio for the first time over this side of the world, and it was, oh. it was pretty special, yeah. Yeah, so walk us through the making of a hit record. Let's say Troublemaker. Uh, let's say we're were you uh, you sat down were you altered in any way what i know exactly what happened? i tell you what i was in the studio and i had like um, a list of um sort of ideas that i had like sayings or, or words and i saw troublemaker and i thought that's a really cool title for a song mm -hmm. so i kind of wrote it down and i said to my team i was sat there it was me and my mate claude and, and steve who write who wrote wrote most of my hits together and we was like you know i've got this idea for a song I think it could be called Right Place, Right Time, and maybe the album could be called Troublemaker. Oh, this was the yeah, last album. It, and yeah, so then yeah. he, he basically, Claude, who was writing, he said, no, 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 no. We're going to write a song called Troublemaker, and mm. we're going to call, and you should call the album Right Place, Right Time. So then we just sat and wrote this song called Troublemaker, which was, which is the one you just heard, and it was just, you know, me basically I've met this girl, and she's just a absolute troublemaker, and really? I just can't do, you know, I just, yeah, yeah she's I, just everything to me. I think the tabloids would expect you to be a bad boy if you called the album no, Troublemaker. No, you don't have to yeah. live up to that. Well, that. Yeah, I mean, that should be Justin Bieber's new album. Because yeah, right. yeah. you don't look like a bad boy? <laughs> no, no, not at no. all. No, I'm not at all. No, no. I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yes, yeah, sir. And um, then now, do you have any ink on you at all? No, like, I'm not, no, tattoo that, free. Is that yep. right? No, my mum and dad wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> Oh. And that's not even a joke. I mean, if I went home now and said to my mum and dad, "I've got a tattoo," they would not be happy. Oh. Um, even though I've been, I'm, you know, I'm 30 now and I'm not living at home. But, um, but no, I just, to be honest with you, I've. I wanted to do one a long time ago, and I never got round to it. And then I just thought, you know what? Maybe I'm just I'm just born not to have a tattoo. It's just one of the things. I'm fascinated by your name, and it's such a stupid question, and I apologize ahead of time. But you know, <laughs> like. Stan leaves your middle name. Yes. It's, it's his too, by the way. That's my middle name. And so yeah. it kind of stood out. Now, but, but Ollie, Stanley. Yeah, it was obviously Laurel, Laurel and Hardy, yeah. Now, was, was it really? Was yeah, it intentional? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Mum did, yeah. I'll be darned. Yeah, mum called me Oliver Stanley, yeah. And it was it was fitting because my, my granddad's called Stanley. So um, they wanted me to be called after my granddad. But um, obviously, my mum wanted them to call me, oh, Oliver Stanley. Oli, Oli, you know, it's like Laura oh. and Hardy. Yeah. Oh, isn't. So they had a wit. They had a sense yeah, of humor. Yeah, well, well do you ever, I don't know if you guys have ever got the show here, but they were actually going to... I've got a twin brother called Ben, and they were going to call me Bill. So I was going to be Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. And in the UK, <laughs> there was this show called Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. And I said to my mum, I was like, I'm, you know what? Mum, I'm so happy you didn't, because <laughs> yeah, really? I would have been at school, I'd have been bullied for years. Oh. You're right. Bill would and you... Ben, here they come, Bill and Ben, the <laughs> flower pot men. You might have had a sister and it could have been Ollie and Molly. So... <laughs> yeah, true. Or Ollie and Molly. Well, they called my sister, um, my sister's um, Faye. And obviously, my surname's Murs. Mm -hmm. So, famous. Famous. Oh. It's like famous. Oh, my God. <laughs> but look, it's, it was destined to be. There it you are. It was the 80s. They were a bit crazy. Uh, right? Oh. But, but runner-up on The X Factor, and you are famous yourself. You're oh. famous. I mean, uh, a presenter in the UK, and of course, a hit maker, a troublemaker, and a new song called Wrapped Up that you're going to perform for us this morning. Yes. All right. So I'm very excited about you're it. You're coming back to tour in, did we hear Well, it? I'm doing a tour in April in the UK. I'm going to Europe. Um, we are going to go to the States as well, um, and I want to come to North America. So this is... I want to come to Canada at some point. So we're going to figure it out. Keep post on my Twitter, at Ollie Official, and we'll tell you everything when it gets announced. But I want to come back here to Toronto. We did a tour here two years ago. I did the One Direction tour before that, and always a great crowd here. So. And, and you're fun to watch because you've got a little choreography going on, too, and it's, uh, it's, <laughs> no, it's cool, though. It but really we, is, well, I've just got to say, we, yeah. I came to Toronto One Direction. It was the first show I did over this side of the, of, of the pond. Uh -huh. And I came to North America, went to Canada in Toronto, and I'm there performing One Direction. And before I'm walking to stage, um, Niall's walking with me, and he's like, and I was like really nervous about it because I didn't know if anyone knew me over here. Mm -hmm. And everyone, all the Toronto fans were, oh, Ollie, oh, Ollie. Oh. 
yeah. I came round. It was so amazing. It was one of, the, one of my best moments of my career. It was amazing because I, I didn't even know that anyone over here would even know who I was. So it was it was brilliant. You're going to Montreal tomorrow? Or? Montreal today. Um, oh, today you're going yeah, to love it. Yes, we're flying over there. going to love you too. I'm right, looking yeah. forward to it. I've heard so yeah. many great things. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm just, it's, it's, it, but it's a pleasure to be in Canada and um, great to be here. And thank you for all your love and support.